So, uh, good afternoon okay. to all the participants today. And uh, we from Satyavani welcome you all <coughs> for the introductory session and the first stage of our uh, process of uh, finalizing paid interns uh, in our company. And uh, as part of that, uh, we have uh, welcomed uh, David Warren to join us, uh, who is uh, our uh, uh, prospective associate uh, in the international uh, arena and our plans in international uh, uh, presence. And I thank David Warren for uh, uh, immediately accepting to address uh, our uh, uh, prospective interns uh, who are uh, aspiring to become the best of uh, civil engineers and structural engineers and project managers. And uh, I thank you for uh, accepting and joining us. And uh, I also thought I'll introduce uh, Tarun to all the participants so that they will have an idea of uh, uh, Tarun, though had uh, joined as a project executive, uh, but uh, he, in India, this is his first job. So uh, he will share his uh, <clears throat> experience uh, in Satyavani because he just joined in the month of April and uh, I am uh, personally mentoring Tarun to become a future project manager. So he will share his experience uh, and his lookout uh, in future. And I also thank my colleagues, uh, our di director design Subramaniam and uh, our IT support uh, Baskar <clears throat> and our coordinator Sridhar Babu who have joined with us. Uh, uh, there might be some more people, but uh, I can see these people, so I'm mentioning them. Uh, so I welcome all the participants and I thank all the aspirants uh, for taking time to join and understand about our uh, Satyavani. And uh, we'll have an overall uh, one hour session of this. Uh, in which we'll spend 40 minutes introducing these uh, uh, myself, our company is Tarun and uh, David Warren will address. And after that, we'll have a question and answer session. But uh, mostly I request all of you to post your uh, queries in the chat box and uh, comment box in YouTube so that uh, we will pick up those uh, queries and try to answer because it's uh, uh, very difficult to answer every question. But definitely I'll go through the chat box and I request uh, IT support to copy the chat box in case we conclude before answering all the questions, we will uh, also answer to them by mail or WhatsApp. So once again, I thank and welcome you all uh, to this Sunday afternoon and Sunday morning for uh, David Warren. And uh, so let us start our proceedings. I, I request Tarun to initiate. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, just sharing my screen. So can everyone see my screen? Uh, yes. Baskar, sir? Yes, sir. Yes. OK. Sir, yeah. Can go ahead. OK. So welcome each and every engineer here. And uh, I thank my mentor, my guru, uh, Surya Prakash, sir, and uh, my, my other boss and my other mentor, Srinivas Garu. And all our team members here thank you for giving me this opportunity and uh, thank you sir for all the uh, support and uh, <laughs> uh, you gave me good uh, encouragement that you can speak and all and i'm um, basically today what i want to speak is about my experience in satyavani and why did i come back to india from abroad and I'm, I'm going to share my all my personal uh, it's 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 my it's my point of view and this is how we're going to start so as i said i'm 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 tarun gutta and i'm here because i'm an artist uh, i feel that we all are artists every civil engineer here is an artist the earth should be our platform the cement sand bricks etc are our tools and the construction the structures we build is is 
is our art pieces or masterpiece and this is these structures or these constructions i want to showcase them in the gallery of satyavani so as i was talking with uh, mr david warren uh, i i did my masters in australia back in 2017 and i worked there and i finished my masters in 2019 and i started working after that it was it was all great but uh, i couldn't get an opportunity to work in in the construction field or in the civil field because the opportunities were very slim first of all it's because of the immigration policy and the other one and the other one is because the first opportunity always goes to the citizens or the people belong to that place or i can i can simplify it by saying that the localites get a better, better opportunity than uh, than the immigrants and that's how i came back and and covid also played a very big role a major role in uh, in in sending me back and that's how i came back to hyderabad my my city where i where i grew up where i lived and and that's and on a good miracle day i met suri paka sir and i i happened to join in satyavani in next 2 3 days uh before that i i want to i want to tell you that why why we shall all stick to civil engineering um yeah why civil engineering you you all must think that why on the day you took up civil engineering that was it your choice or compromise what did you guys actually have in your mind when you were when you were taking that mark on the paper or the website that you going to you going to pursue your career in civil engineering did you were you really passionate about building structures or constructing houses for everyone or you wanted to or you wanted to make a, a trademark of a building of yours for uh, which people should remember forever what was in your mind we all must think about that before before start before pursuing your career in civil engineering so the first thing this is all my perspective this is how i thought uh, these were the thoughts which were there in my mind when i when i took up civil engineering it's like it remains forever like opportunity to leave a mark in this world structure with your name that lasts forever structure that shows your dedication and all your efforts it will it will be there in this in this world like maybe for 100 150 200 years even as, as a civil engineer you have the opportunity to leave a mark in the world it is the way for you to create a structure with your name that lasts forever it is the reward for you after completion of the structure that shows your dedication and all your effort that i mean that is the kind of satisfaction that everyone needs to look for and that's what i look for basically and good influence role role of structures in our lives is increasing drastically and you you can actually make a difference in in everybody's life like as the structures are evolving day by day their role in our lives is increasing to a great extent it is the duty of a civil engineer to protect the lives of people by constructing durable structures for example the primary task like damaged structures repairing and preventing them from being damaged further in the future are are the main roles of a civil engineer and and that is on point that that's exactly how you you make a difference in everyone's life and creativity you uh how how can i tell this uh, it depends on everyone is creative in their own way and the civil engineer if a civil engineer is is strong with their technical skills or in with their technical component and 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 creative at the same time that's how a beautiful structures come out and a design can go uh, as far as you can imagine like uh, only you can you stop at one point at where you stop imagining and you you we can also recreate the good old traditional structures which which are 
which are not being so good, which are not being constructed uh, so abundantly these days. Uh, and engineers have the unique ability to combine strong technical and components with creative designs. And it also includes electrical and plumbing systems and functional working systems, which we also have to uh, include in, in civil engineering. And you should not, uh, they are not separated. They're also integrated in our field itself. And yeah, you you ask yourself or you can any any experienced civil engineer, they will be like, yeah, what is retirement? There's nothing like re retirement for an experienced civil engineer and career of civil engineers only extend with their experience and a better offer for every new project because you keep on adding experience for yourself. Yeah, it's a respected profession. You have you ever thought that uh, as a, a software engineer or someone are, uh, they might have, they might earn more money or something, but at the end, at their later part of their career, are they really recognized or do they really get all the fruit? Are they really satisfied? You can, you can ask people around you and you can actually check within yourselves also. We, we might earn less in the in the beginning of our career or our uh, our growth is steady but is always up it's it's not like others or any other profession which which are up which are ups and downs you know and we are also considered as like independent unit of the community and we we civil engineers are more of a civilization and why why be a civil engineer in india why why did i come back why didn't i stay back in abroad let's say the royal institution of chartered surveyors estimate like real estate and construction professionals in india by 2021 revealed that the market supply dividend for qualified civil engineers the architects and other varies from 82 to 86 percent and let us look at the stats. According to a report published in the Economic Times, 95 billion square feet is the predicted demand in the construction industry by 2023. The demand supply gap is of 4 million civil engineers. And in a country like India, the major infrastructural factors that are most significant in accelerating the pace of economic development are energy, transport, irrigation, finance, communications, education, and health system. So these are the areas which we have scope in India because we are still a developing country and we uh, the requirement for civil engineers is like in a, in a huge abundance. The, there is no way that anyone can tell you that India mein nahi hai, scope nahi hai, chale jate. No, that's, that's not the case at all. And 40 years ago, nobody would have thought that the commute between the Bandra and Wally could have been completed in less than 40 to 50 minutes. Today, we can cover this distance in just eight minutes. This is only possible due to the Bala Bandra Worli ring, link ceiling constructed in the Arabian Sea, built by our, our own civil engineers. Can you can you guys believe that, that we actually did this? Or I, I never thought that the, all this was actually possible and we could actually <laughs> say we could build a road or sea link between in, in inside the water man like <laughs> i never imagined that we could even do this but we actually did it and yeah why satyavani why satyavani i'll tell you before that satyavani built 200 million square feet wow that's the only thing I said when 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 Surya Prakash sir told me that we built 20, 200 million square feet. I was like, wow, did we actually do this? Did did you really build all this? He literally pulled out a paper like this and he's like, yeah, see, see, these are the projects we actually did. And that the count actually went up more than 200 million SFT. And and these are the places where Satyavani put their mark all around the globe and we operate it from Hyderabad, Telangana. We did projects, actually it's it's not me, actually Satyavani did projects in USA, Canada, UK, Egypt, Dubai, Zambia, New Zealand. And 
this is how we actually build it it's really simple like we you we detail we design and that's how we build our structural uh, structural concepts and from the pmc team we do planning we do supervising and that's how the pmc the PM, pmc structure goes in and the structural team and the management team coordinate together and it's it's that simple and it's not complicated at all and this is the excellence funnel which we apply here at our office and these are the main strategies which we which we use to build our structures like site evaluation challenge discovery design intent plan of action execution and transparency the, these are the most important parts where you you keep funneling stuff and that's how the excellence come out of you and that's that's the way you you build excellence if you if you look at satyavani setting values for excellence and this is how we set values for our excellence and we we all know that pandemic did a a, a very big havoc in our lives and even during the pandemic i witnessed this personally because when i joined in satyavani in april the in may the second wave started and we all had to restrict to our houses and we still we did it we took it as a challenge and during the pandemic we we worked as good as an it employee with with the latest technology we use we were like in zoom call meetings team viewers google forms and art augmented reality site visits etc what, what not you you name it and we were we were using it and and the best part and yeah and i want to tell you my story here man like there is no hierarchy system in satyavani if you okay i'll tell you how how i felt this i walked into surya prakash sir's office one day with my dad and sir was asking me as i'm a youngster he took some interest in me he started asking me like tarun what did you do where are you where did you study why did you come by and all like he 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 asked me all this and he 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 spoke like a very casual man he he may look like a casual man but he is not actually he he is an iit gold medalist and he doesn't have to speak to me that way but uh, and thanks to sir again he actually saw some um some zeal in me thank you sir thanks for uh, uh, appreciating my my interest and and he said that tarun you uh, are you interested in working here like yes sir i i told just one thing yes sir i would work with you or nowhere else i actually told you this sir nen me ki vision cheppan main aapko bataya tha ye baat usi din i wanted to work with him but not with anyone else and yeah and after two days again i went back to sir's office and he he did a good interview and he said okay uh, you can you can join the office in, in in another couple of days yeah there i was in the office and the office was full of experienced people who had minimum of 15 years of experience everyone was experienced and me as with no experience i just got uh, one bachelor degree and another masters degree with no on site experience and uh, no no actual experience in fact but everyone was really friendly and i had direct access to each and every person like there, there is no manager no no pmc ka director no architectural ka director no one is restricted i mean i can access anyone and the best part was the immediate day i joined surya prakash sir called me into his office and he's like tarun here we have uh, the kandupur project we have the srinagar villas project and we have anoji guda project go go start start doing budgeting and we we need schedule we need uh, we need the drawings all of this immediately i was like what i i didn't know what to do because as i said i, I didn't have any experience but i i got really panicked my my hands were like sweaty 
I didn't know what to do. So I was like, go, 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 get into the office. You, 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 you take, you take the charge. You ask anyone. You, you, you do whatever. I don't know. I just want the output. I was like, sir, sir, को तो मुझे train करना चाहिए ना. Why is he asking me to do stuff already? Okay, but but still, he's the boss. I have to do what he told me. I I went I went to the architectural team. I went to the plumbing team. I went to the electrical team. I started procuring documents, and there was uh, Chakravarti sir. He's he's the most important one for me in the office. He he actually took care of me. He's like, okay, Tarun, relax. This this is the process you got to do, and here here is the budgeting here. this is the way you do budgeting and this is the this is the team where you get the this is the authorized person where you can actually go get the drawings and this is the structural team they can give you approximate values and which we can do budgeting and yeah when i went to the each and every team and each and every head everyone responded in the same friendly way and even till today i am learning like probably i'll be learning for the next 2 3 years also i'm pretty sure all of you are going to have the same level of experience and the same kind of warmthness in 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 satyavani that that is the best part and and recently we had uh, uh, srinivas garu who joined as a project uh, project manager project uh, director he i don't know if it's there with within the air of satyavani or what but he he is friendly as hell man like he teaches me each and everything he he sits down he is he is always patient not not only him everyone at satyavani has got the same level of patience to teach each and every minute detailing in our field like like what what is the best way to learn a, a subject it's it's you need to if you are pushed into a well or if you are pushed into a water body you will have to swim i i, I think that's the procedure surya prakash sir has adopted to teach me like he he just pushes me into the project like he like go tarun tujhe karna hi hai i i don't know how you're going to do it like no one's going to question you 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 just got to do the job that's it that's how i'm actually learning probably this i'm learning things in a very fast pace uh, e- even in the pandemic situation even from even after working from home i i learned a lot of stuff and this this is the best part you you actually learn by already being in the project not uh, not with the uh, not with the videos or not with the classes or not with the dotis and all uh, you actually learn by already being a part of a project and i think this is the best way to learn something and and that's the reason i i i want to be in satyavani and that's the reason you all should also be part of satyavani thank you and i hand it over back to surya prakash sir please sir thanks for giving me this opportunity and uh, a bit which i want to say about sir is he is an iit gold medalist in structural uh, designing he is a structural engineer and he is one of the best in our country and he has he has uh, established satyavani in 1994 which is like of my age and he's been successfully running this company all these years thank you sir please take over and please uh, educate and please give us your knowledge now and to all the engineers here thank you Sir, sorry, please thank you tarun please unmute sir. please unmute sorry <laughs> thank you tarun uh, it's really informative and uh, uh, useful i i hope it will be useful to all the aspiring uh, people to be like you joining with our uh, team of satyavani and uh, i i could not introduce srinivas i saw srinivas also is here Uh, i think if you switch on your video you will be yeah thank you srinivas so srinivas is our director uh, projects and uh, subramanian is our director uh, design 
we have a director head, which I'll be showing in the introduction. Uh, now, I, I will ask uh, David uh, whether you want to uh, start uh, addressing now or uh, after I present so that you'll have information about our company. Choice is yours. Okay, hello everybody and um, thanks very much Surya for the invitation to be part of this amazing um, webinar. <clears throat> um, first of all, I'd like to say that uh, Taran's presentation was absolutely awesome, amazing. His energy, commitment, understanding of the business is nothing less than stunning for a man of his years. Um, particularly, a couple of points. Um, his mission statement uh, is incredible. Um, <clears throat> So you're saying that, uh, you know, a civil engineer is really an artist and his tools are bricks and mortar reflects 100% my feeling about the business. Absolutely. And uh, I was knocked over by that. Um, <clears throat> really tremendous. Um, also, his um, emphasis on the organization within um, Sachavani. Um, in the old days, there was a, a lead consultant, and if you like, um, management hierarchy was a kind of a pyramid with the boss guy, the head guy at the top, and everybody else teetering down below. Today, you know, project management and organization within any design office is much more of a plateau with different people doing different things on a flat plane and contributing in a positive way towards a common goal. And that is fantastic, you know, that, you know, his understanding of that at such an early age is actually quite, uh, quite awesome. Um, so great, Taran, and I really hope to meet you someday. Um, just Thank a little you, bit sir. of background about me. I'm at, hello, are we here? Yeah. Hang on a sec. Hey, you're fine. Are we back? Can we see me? Okay, a uh, little bit of background about me. I'm um, a structural engineer. I started out in the 1970s, qualified as a civil engineer. Um, I worked all over the Middle East and Africa for about 10 years um, and then came to London and chose to change to specialize in structural engineering. And I'm a director of a small consultancy in London. And we've been going for about 25 years. We focus basically on the architectural side of engineering. I teach architects. I've taught at Cambridge and I'm currently a visiting lecturer at the University of Greenwich. And I really enjoy that. Um, the whole point of being um, a structural engineer is being a sort of quiet support person to the architectural goal to, to, to what comes, to what people perceive and use and function. And our role is really, is to serve in the community and in the greater world, in our local community and in our global community. Um, the world is facing great challenges at the moment. The biggest challenge is climate change. And as engineers, you know, we have a fundamental role, a fundamental task to play in controlling the mistakes in handling climate change and the advice that academics told us. And we are now looking to the next generation, really, to help us out, help this planet out and help you know, the world out. And uh, sustainability in design is a new thing, Surya, and I would probably not have even thought about that when we were starting out, but it, it's a fundamental, um, you know, criterion in the way that you design any building now. You have to keep an eye in your green and your carbon credentials in a way that you never had before. And it, it's not a rehearsal. This is the world now, and it's our responsibility, the responsibility of the new emerging generation of engineers to test that challenge. Um, you know, uh, or, uh, as far as engineering, um, emerging engineers, uh, you know, coming engineers, the new generation of engineers, um, my sort of advice would be to to uh, establish a goal for yourself for the first five years you know work out where you want to be in five years time and that's always the question i ask people who come here what where do you want to be what do you want to be and what the the answer i hope to get and i don't always get it but the answer i hope to get is that they would be 
chartered members of, 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 um, of a, an institution. And in this case, I would recommend the Royal Institution of Civil Engineers. It's got uh, branches all over India, and it's been around for an awfully long time. The qualifications are recognized worldwide. It's a tough call. You know, it is a tough call. The first three, four years of your postgrad experience will be hard work. You know, it's a hard road, but the rewards at the end are international recognition of your position in society as, you know, a, a key player in the development of um, our society, our civil society. And, um, it, you know, I, I, um, I've traveled the world, I've made a good life, I've brought my kids and all the rest of it. And, you know, there are great rewards there. But it's hard work, and particularly in the in the initial stages, commitment, openness, a willingness to communicate, and in in this world now, particularly um, in the, you know the, the Institute of Civil Engineers, and in my case, the the Royal Institution of Structural Engineers, with whom I'm quite involved with, a very, very, very specific hallmarks in their in their conduct and inclusivity in this country is absolutely fundamental to everything now. Um, and by inc inclusivity, I mean that nobody is barred by gender, race, creed, or the color of your skin. You know, it, it is all about your willingness to become part of this big operation, of, the, of this civic life. The only ceiling, the only ceiling to your potential achievement is your ambition and your willingness to work hard. And you know, there is a great dirt that there aren't enough civil engineers in the world. We are constantly, constantly looking for new talent. Um, and you know, we need it. We need engineers to make this world turn around. So, um, you know, I think I've lost you there. I hope everything, everybody can still see me. Yeah, yeah. You are. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, um the the way we operate in in, in this country is as um, as basically as consultants to architects in building um uh, building structures um and we hope to partner with Sachavani on um uh, projects of, you know globally um <clears throat> Infrastru infrastructure in uh, India is fundamental, uh, first phase and second phase infrastructure. And, um, you know, a civil engineer's role in all of that is, is pretty fundamental. So there, there is a heroic sort of challenge out there to a person considering a career in civil engineering. And it's really whether you want to rise to that challenge and... Um, yeah, that, that's that's in, in in short where I'm coming from and um, how I see the world. So, do you, do you have anything to add to that, or would you like me to you know to to, to no, elaborate yeah. on it? That's really excellent. Uh, uh, you have covered every aspect that we are expecting, uh, and definitely we are uh, looking forward to work with you uh, in UK and uh, abroad. Uh, other countries. So yeah, your uh, experience as a structural engineer and uh, your expertise in other countries like Middle East and Africa will be definitely useful for uh, Satyavani. And uh, I just wanted to introduce you to the youngsters uh, to say that, like, when I'm listening to you, you are uh, portraying me also. Like, we, though you are in UK, you are talking the same uh, words that I keep talking to my young engineers in India. So many engineers in India feel that uh, the life will be better uh, abroad and all that. But uh, I want to just showcase that it is similar. And uh, you said the same thing, uh, which I which I am going through. Like I always say, young engineers that we have to do hard work in the initial five years and then uh, be committed, be passionate about our profession, then life will be better as we move forward. The same thing you also said. So yeah. 
really I'm very happy today to hear the same thing from you. Of course, I had the similar experience with a consultant in UK, uh, US, in California, who uh, gifted me a book on forks in the road. Uh, he authored, he's a very senior consultant. And uh, when I read that book, uh, I also felt globally engineers go through the same thing in life. Uh, I mean, whether it is passion or whether it is hard work or whether it is commitment to deliver projects, all will be same among all the engineers across the globe. Yeah, we engineers are a community, uh, are a creed uh, across the globe with the same yes. Uh, uh, yes, traits. So thank you very much. I'd go a step further. I would say that I would I would say, uh, Surya, that civil engineers aren't just a community; they're a family. You know, yeah. when you meet another civil engineer from anywhere else in the world, you always have the same gripes. You That's always moan about the same things, <laughs> and it, it is a great community to be part of. And um, as I say, um, yeah, it, it's a great life, and. Um, I would strongly recommend it to to anybody as a as a career for the future for the future of not just of of, of, of your local community but of, of of the planet in general. Yeah. So uh, I will uh, take uh, some ten minutes to fifteen minutes of time to introduce uh, about our company and uh, plan for this uh, recruitment drive for. Uh, interns, uh, prospective interns uh, to join our company. So Satyavani Projects and Consultants, uh, I'm the founder director and uh, I'm basically a structural engineer uh, from IIT Madras. Though I'm not a gold medalist uh, as uh, introduced by Tarun, but probably I'm gold from IIT Madras. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you Tarun for uh, saying good words. And uh, so today I'll just cover about uh, introduction, our services and uh, some of our prestigious projects uh, in progress and completed. And also I'll briefly introduce about our uh, selection process for the interns. So uh, overall 27 years of delivering services with prestigious clients in architecture, uh, engineering. Uh, in fact, we started with civil engineering and we spread into architecture, mechanical, electrical, and uh, plumbing, air conditioning, and uh, also project management now. So uh, vision, mission, and values, uh, we definitely uh, dwell more on the values because civil engineering is suffering a lot of trust issues with the society. So we as civil engineers have to build our own values strong because excellence is anyway taken for granted by the clients from the consultant, but we have to add values to the excellence uh, so that we'll be respected uh, uh, with our commitment, creativity, and providing safety to the people connected with our built environment. And uh, honesty and integrity are uh, paramount things for civil engineers particularly. So as uh, introduced by Tarun, uh, we have uh, presence in many countries uh, across the globe, and we had the opportunity to work on some projects. In fact, in the first year of establishment itself, we had the opportunity to work on a project, transmission project in Abu Dhabi. And recently we did in Iraq also, the transmission project, Nepal and all the other countries. And uh, we established in 94 with the headquarters in Hyderabad. We completed projects worth uh, about, uh, uh, I'll tell for the benefit of David, it is 200 million uh, pounds actually. 20,000 crores is the Indian uh, rupees. And we have 350 clients across the world. We have employing about uh, 200 professionals and uh, uh, 15 years experience in uh, delivering high quality project management to Indian customers, both in government and private. So this is our key personnel. Uh, in fact, uh, I couldn't quickly put the photographs, but uh, I had as a managing director and we have Srinivas as executive director and V.S. Murthy heading administration and finance, K. Srinivas as the director of project. Subramanium, who is with us for the uh, last 27 years, is the symbol of uh, sustenance actually uh, and uh, perseverance. Uh, he has been with our company right from the year one and uh, chief architect, uh, we have Gurnath Sirsi, who is having 40 years of experience. 
and we have Jagdish Kumar who is with us for 16 years, 17 years. And uh, we have Vyalan Murthy who is also with us for 20 years. Purna Chandra with us for more than 10 years. Usharani for 15 years, who is in architecture general manager. And Satyapal who is with us for 15 years. So the average top line experience uh, with company itself is more than 15 years. So, uh, so this is our uh, key personnel. And uh, we, we are headquartered in Hyderabad with uh, we had operations, I don't say branches in Bangalore, Delhi, Vijayawada and other cities. Uh, and we have licensed software of 30 seats, uh, Revit architecture, Revit uh, structure and uh, MEP and uh, STAD and uh, other software. We have in-house developed software also. And uh, we have the hardware matching these requirements. So design services we offer as I so told in architecture, civil and structure electrical, public health, engineering, mechanical safety and uh, security systems, automation also, and project management, quantity surveying and tendering, infrastructure uh, and uh, transmission towers and uh, communication towers. So we start with pre-construction services and uh, during construction services and post-construction like uh, services uh, like certification as build drawing and uh, retrofitting and rehabilitation also and the mechanical, electrical, plumbing. And this is our client's list. Uh, we had the opportunity to work with most of the renowned clients, including Tata's, Billa's, and uh, Tech Mahindra is our client for last uh, 14 years now. Uh, and uh, ITC, also we keep working with them. And uh, government, we work with Ministry of Defense and uh, state governments of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. And uh, some of our projects uh, uh, in progress and uh, nearing completion is uh, Tech Mahindra campus in Nagpur. And uh, this is IT campus building in uh, uh, high tech city, Hyderabad. And uh, this is a mall and multiplex in Hyderabad, uh, in the uh, play, central Hyderabad, actually. And we also did uh, about <clears throat> towers, uh, communication towers, quality control and design. Uh, ranging about three lakh towers in communication all over India, in addition to New Zealand and uh, other countries. And we did the mass planning for DMIDC, uh, Central Business District, and uh, defense housing, about 1500 crore project in phase three in progress. And uh, we completed uh, our nearing completion about uh, uh, 20. Uh, Two and a half million square feet, actually, about 500 crore uh, project. And uh, this is a special project we did in Hyderabad, designed a statue of Ramanujacharya. And we keep doing uh, many projects like where the Patsala temples and all as a, our commitment and social responsibility. And this is a metro rail project we did in uh, Gurugram. I'm just showing some of the interesting projects we did but not all, uh, because covering all projects, will not, time will not be enough. But this is definitely a, a metro rail project, uh, uh, a rapid rail, um, rapid metro Gurgaon. And uh, so this is a completed project now. And uh, we did also a very interesting project of uh, seven runways in uh, Arunachal Pradesh, the first airport in Arunachal Pradesh, state of Arunachal Pradesh in northeast of our country is uh, done by us. and. Uh, so uh, we have successfully completed in most challenging conditions, including design engineering and project management. The Sukhoi landed though it was not designed for, and that's a credit to us and uh, our team of contractors and uh, client. And we also did the first time rotary management system in India, uh, in Vizag, uh, where we use this uh, grade separated rotary management system where we have uh, two important highways meeting as a junction. And uh, this is in, in Vizag. This is, this is the Google view of the same thing, the concept. And this is also a completed project. We have uh, heavy vehicles at the higher level and light vehicles at the lower level. And at the grade level, we have uh, pedestrians and uh, rickshaws, manual pulling rickshaws and all. So this is another interesting project we completed recently. And these are all building projects we did uh, uh, Andhra Pradesh Infrastructure Corporation and uh, a mall project in Hyderabad in uh, Banjara Hills. And the towers, uh, the, we are into FM radio transmission and 
power transmission towers we did about 1000 kilometers and uh, this is new zealand we did the communication network and the mobile communication backbone we did about 1.25 lakh towers so this is our background uh, in towers which we completed and we also had the opportunity to work on two power projects and we did uh, two more balance of plant works for power projects but these two projects we did for turbine <coughs> uh, building uh, uh, power generation buildings also uh, complete uh, civil and structural works for duran in gujarat 106 uh, uh, megawatt and uh, 2 into 25 megawatt uh, gas turbine for hpcl in vaisa we also did the first high rise uh, residential tower in hyderabad uh, uh, we faced we had to face a lot of challenges including the fire safety and all that and we did, we completed this successfully about 10 years back and we are into automobile industry like mahindra group we did uh, in jairaba and uh, this is a affordable housing project which uh, we have uh, first time ever i think in anywhere we in the same project of uh, 4000 houses we implemented three technologies like precast my one and uh, con conventional you can see it's very difficult to make out which is precast and which is my one which is conventional so that's how we delivered the quality we implemented these three technologies to uh, overcome or mitigate the risk uh, risks involved in uh, delivering such project in a short time of 12 months 3 million square feet in 12 months for 11 floors and uh, we really succeeded in this project and in the last four months we completed four towers that is the uh, fastest we did in precast and uh, this is uh, uh, present uh, secretariat of uh, uh, andhra pradesh uh, state capital and uh, we had the opportunity to work on it first ever uh, project in uh, new state of andhra pradesh divided state and then we are also did a lot of it projects about 60 million square feet in which uh, we did uh, this uh, uh, tech mahindra alone we did about uh, 4000 crores Uh, which is equal to about uh, 400 million uh, pounds actually and uh, dell campus we completed in 6 months time many such challenging projects we did in the last uh, 27 years and uh, entertainment and leisure we did uh, many projects like in hyderabad mumbai chennai this is uh, snow kingdom in uh, chennai and uh, snow magic in mumbai and uh, snow world in hyderabad jal vihar in hyderabad uh, and uh, laser gallery interesting projects we did uh, and uh, now our future future plan with this background is uh, growth into new verticals through acquisitions whatever uh, uh, we could not uh, 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 enter into in the last 27 years uh, we want to prepare a road map for the next 3 uh, decades and uh, enter into new verticals that we have not entered so far and uh, the quickest way is to uh, enter through acquisitions and then then also we want to establish internationally uh, through partnerships uh, that's how we invited david warner uh, warren to be with us today and we are seriously working with david uh, to spread our international presence through uh, his company and his expertise and we want to imbibe a better uh, standard operating process from new partners uh, abroad uh, we have australia united states and uk in our mind and we want to work with these uh, companies uh, to uh, incorporate a better operating uh, process for the benefit of our clients in fact uh, with new partners we offer this uh, better process to our client because whenever we go to any client they compare us with uh, mncs entering india uh, like jacobs or uh, acom or uh, snc all these companies so we want to become mnc and compete with them that's how uh, that's our vision actually and uh, infuse now the uh, to enter into all these uh, arenas uh, we want to infuse fresh and talented engineers motivate them train them and establish future leadership this is our main objective actually uh, in uh, going through this process in fact we have got very good response of uh, about 1700 applications and uh, 
then uh, we'll be uh, shortlisting them in the coming uh, uh, 10 days time and we'll intimate to conduct a test and uh, we will identify the passionate professional and leadership through this uh, internship program once you join our company you will be exposed to various types of projects and you will be trained to work on and we'll identify the leadership in you so we will uh, screen through this uh, introduction and academic track record in the first step and then we also expose the freshers to the youtube uh, leap like uh, you can subscribe to our channel my uh, my channel actually ponada suri prakash where i have uh, documented all most of my experience in the last 27 years 30 years uh, in various topics 60 topics are there so you can go through that uh, uh, lectures they are available on youtube anytime you can uh, listen to them and make notes of important point because when we conduct a written test we will uh, expose you to some of those topics that we have uh, uh, shared in those uh, youtube lectures that's why you can go through that and uh, there are various uh, categories that we want to select in terms of design detailing and uh, project planning engineers and the supervising engineers four categories all four categories will be shortlisting and uh, we conduct interviews online that is the third step after whoever passes through the written test will conduct interviews online and uh, written test will be on 15th august as i intimated and uh, conduct interviews the pay during internship for the first year uh, will be uh, what i have mentioned here but uh, may not be limited to it depending on the uh, uh, talented people and performance performers will be appointed on permanent roles once we complete this first year of internship we'll identify as i said the talent and leadership through their work and then they'll be uh, appointed on permanent roles so this is about our selection process and uh, if you still have any questions you can ask me uh, through chat box because or you can raise hands then we'll try to answer the questions as much as possible now and if we miss any of your question if you posted in chat box we'll reply through mail or whatsapp thank you very much for joining us uh, i hope we are clear in what we are planning and uh, so now <coughs> uh, you can raise the questions or raise your hand for question time will be the same uh, time three o'clock to four o'clock it will be one hour exam and it will be on zoom youtube uh, link is shared baskar uh, i request you to share the youtube link in the chat box okay Yeah, test will be online uh, through Google Form. Uh, at present, we'll consider uh, passed out uh, postgraduates and undergraduates of 21 at present. Syllabus of exam will be uh, any stream you choose, uh, design, or detailing or uh, supervision or planning. Yeah, everyone can apply and YouTube link is shared. So you can use this YouTube, YouTube link and uh, subscribe and uh, listen to all the disciplines, all the verticals are welcome. Actually, we don't restrict to any specialization. Yeah, interns. Pay scale is for interns actually. First year of internship. After that, uh, you will be put on regular uh, pay scale, which will be better of the industry actually. Somebody is asking, is it good to pursue M.Tech or join job? It is a personal thing, but as a civil engineer, I always advise. Uh, if there is no pressure to earn, you should do a post-graduation. Post if you want to be a professional like us, uh, you should be a post-graduate. Not same for all the positions. Uh, it will be 
uh, questions will be asked in the specialization you choose, the design detailing or uh, uh, what you call uh, uh, supervision or planning. Yeah, even if you have a small experience, uh, you can join as intern, doesn't matter if you feel our offer is better. But definitely not beyond one year, two years experience. Uh, you, it, will, it doesn't make sense because we want to mentor you to become a fresh, talented people. No, no, not virtual internship. You'll be joining the company. It's not a virtual internship. Yeah, 219. 19 also is okay. Maximum 19, not be beyond 19. Yeah, final year PG students can also apply. And uh, mechanical, yes, we may have uh, some opportunities. If you don't have experience 2018 pass out, we may see, we may check. 2017, 20 pass out is okay. Yeah, there are too many questions actually. Uh, I'm skipping many, <laughs> I'm not able to read through. Uh, it is running like uh, uh, news flash or share market thing. So I'll copy this chat box before I close and uh, try to answer the questions and share it with all of you. Yeah, location is not a constraint. Uh, if you are willing to work in Hyderabad or any location, you can apply. Yeah, final year uh, students also can apply. Not a problem, we'll wait. If you are good, definitely we'll wait for your completion. During internship, oh God, skip. What is the stipend? Yeah, that's what I mentioned. Stipend is what I mentioned, uh, the scale in the presentation. You can go to YouTube and uh, uh, rewind and see that screen. March 21 graduated, yes, you can apply. Yeah, anyone can apply, even if you are working. If it's not beyond two years experience, we'll consider. No, when you're studying MTech, it is difficult because uh, we want you to join only after completing your education. Uh, we are left with only two minutes time, uh, so please post your queries and uh, we have, uh, we may not be, and uh, I'll also take uh, comments from the YouTube and uh, reply to all of you through the group we created uh, for this interns and uh, we'll share. So uh, Subramaniam, uh, our director of designs, you want to say anything? Add? Already you have given. Yeah, thank you. Already you have given all instructions and uh, what we have done in the past 27 years, we have explained. Yeah. So there is no nothing from me to tell anything. So good. Thank you very much. Srinivas Karu, do you want to add anything? Um, is that addressed to me, sir? Sorry. Yeah. 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 Um, no, not, not, I think you've covered um, just about everything that uh, should be covered. An amazingly impressive uh, <clears throat> presentation about both your own, uh, about your own Sachivani, uh, your company, and your vision for the future, which is nothing less than awesome, I have to say. Uh, I've used that word twice already, but it is nothing less than awesome. The clarity of your vision and uh, your, your commitment to that vision in training people to come along <clears throat> to be part of that journey is, is terrific, it's fantastic. And I hope to be part of that journey too. Thank you. Thank you very much, David. Uh, I'm really happy and uh, looking forward to meeting you soon uh, and welcome you to India also. And, uh, well, that's 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 my ambition is to come to Hyderabad. Interact with my team and uh, share your ideas for our future vision. <laughs> Thank you very much. Indeed, 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 indeed. Thank you again. Yeah, Sohail, uh, you have something to say? You raise the hand. 
Srinivas Garu. Meanwhile, you can say something. Yes, yeah. yeah. I am Srinivas Garu here. I am the director of projects. I joined a couple of months back. And I know Surya Prakash for the last uh, 27 years. We first met in 1990 when he uh, visited our consultancy in Delhi. Uh, he is a first generation entrepreneur, very qualified and easily accessible. And I am sure that whosoever interns get appointed and selected uh, will be really lucky to, to get mentorship from the best civil engineer of the country. And uh, uh, we, we heartily welcome the, the whosoever gets appointed and uh, we will guide them and mentor them to, to be the uh, very good engineers uh, for the future of the country. Thank you. Thank you, Srinivas Garu. Thank you, David Warren, for uh, taking out time on Sunday. Uh, I, I know it's a family time, but uh, yeah, one hour. It's been, it's been a pleasure. Time. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, we will uh, send the exam link of each category separately to all of you uh, individually. So, uh, thank you very much, all the uh, uh, participants and interested candidates. Uh, thank you for showing interest to uh, be part of the selection process. And we'll definitely uh, come back to you after filtering the uh, candidates uh, through the details you have published. So, thank you very much. Have a good weekend at home and uh, stay safe and uh, wish you all the best. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Baskar, will you copy the chat box? Or? I'll select all. Sir, please select all, sir. Because of the Baskar system got some problem. Oh, okay. It's got it. Okay. You can share copy, sir. Well, new messages that worry. When it is running through, we might miss some. It's so better to copy it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Copying is taking so long, so many. <laughs> Chart box. I'm checking, sir. I'm checking. No, I'm just copying the whole thing. In YouTube, uh, you have any questions? Okay. Sir, most of the questions uh, link to link. Uh, yeah, basically, eligibility only, sir. Yeah. yeah. Eligibility with respect to their uh, <coughs> year of pass. You, you have given 2019 and 20, no? They are asking about 2017. Ah, uh, that.
Yes, I copy. So thank you all. I am concluding this. Uh, I could copy the whole thing. Yeah, 2021 pass out. You are eligible. Did my post graduation in water resources? Yes, any subject uh, we don't rule out. Questions are. Raghavendra. Some new messages. Please uh, let us conclude. I am copying again. Yeah. Okay, thank you all. I'm closing this. Thank you. Bye.